VBO is safe if it's done safely. And it is permanent if it's done correctly. So let me elaborate on both. So have patients died from VBO? Absolutely. The most important thing is to recognize the certification and the training of your chosen plastic surgeon. I've been doing BBLs since 2005. If you go to my gallery, we have 50, 60, 70 patients, and we've never thankfully had an issue or a problem because we follow the proper guidelines in terms of doing a BBL. So let me elaborate so on that So what's a more. safe BBL? A when safe you BBL. said you have to do it safely. First, you have to go to somebody who's board certified in plastic surgery. As we know, not everyone who is performing plastic surgery is a plastic surgeon. For many years, people were doing liposuction, especially in Florida, who were emergency room doctors, or you have people that are injecting you with silicone, concrete, this or that, and give them the, the name of a plastic surgeon a bad reputation or name. But the reality is that, coming back, apart from the fact that somebody is certified and trained well, then you have to see how many BBLs they have done, if they have had any complications, and how do you perform it safely. You perform it safely by injecting the fat into fat. When people have unfortunately died from this procedure, it has been due to the fact that the fat was injected into the muscle, okay? So the gluteal maximus muscle, which is your butt muscle, has a huge blood vessel. And people inadvertently have injected the vessel with fat. So what happens is that the fat goes into your blood system and migrates and blocks the vessels and gives you a heart attack or a stroke or inability to... I did not to, even know that until yeah, right now. Inability to breathe. So it's super important that your plastic surgeon injects the fat into fat. Many years ago, like in 2007, when I was attending um, American Society of Plastic Surgeons meetings, some people we're talking about injecting fat into the muscle. They thought that because muscle has a richer blood supply, more of the fat cells will ultimately take and become viable. And they were pre preaching the idea of injecting fat into muscle. I've never liked that idea. Fat should reside in fat, muscle should reside in muscle. It doesn't make sense to take half of your muscle and make it, combine it with fatty cells. Mm -hmm. You can. So. I've never done it. I don't think it's a good idea. And obviously it's not a good idea because people have died as a result of inadvertently injecting the muscle vessels with fat cells. Mm -hmm.